Hi guys, I wish to take you through a library management system created using Microsoft Access and also VBA part of it. As usual, I will start by demonstration on how to how that is uh, uh, that is how the system works and therefore this is our login form and in our login form if you press the cursor here you will be informed that this is the username and also this is the password and I have already now captured the guys therefore we first of all enable the macros here once you enable the macro the system will run this way therefore I am supposed to come to this point here and uh, 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 choose a user therefore this one pass one is done then you hit on enter therefore this is our dashboard this is how our library system looks like and therefore we have the the user we have the login the logout and also quit then our dash on our dashboard we have the form operations where we have the books books details borrowing module imports in case you are importing some books uh, from suppliers then profile we also have locations location information this is where the books are kept then the leader this is the person who is borrowing or using the books and then we can also have the borrowing module and return module here also in case we need to be supplied some books we can capture from this point and also still instead of using this you can still capture inputs from here on the other hand we have the reports where we can preview the report that is the borrowing report you can also have to see uh, you have you can see the uh, import reports you can also really see the return reports and also the staff and for that case if i may demonstrate for the books if you hit the books You'll be in a position to see a list of books that uh, have been captured you can also search for a book from this part here uh, for example if i have this one i can also edit the book here you see now this one is inactive therefore when i hit on this i can be in a position to uh, actually edit the book here and also capture the picture of the book here then once i capture the books i can be in a position to uh, see the ID of the book, uh, the title of the book, the author, the year, ISBN, and also the category, among others, among others that uh, I can see from this uh, point here. Then when it comes to the borrowing, uh, this is where the borrowing can be done. Therefore, you just hit on new book here. Then you can be in a position to even search the book title here the author this one will be displayed there therefore you also have the reader name here you can check for the reader name here right now if i want this guy here uh, also for the book title you can be in a position to see or click on the book title from this module here uh, for example that one you see now the details appears then the guy who is borrowing is berinda that way, therefore you can see then from there uh, you can also see the report or summary of the borrowed books you can look at uh, this point here uh, this is the details where you can do that then you can preview this is for the borrowing module a very powerful uh, module there then you also have the inputs uh, that is the import sorry book surprise therefore you can have the date uh, import ID, staff ID, supplier ID, supplier name, title, out there here, ISMB. You have the category of the books here. Uh, here, therefore, you can look at that one. Then you can also see the reports of the ones that are already uh, captured here. Therefore, this is the import module of the library system. You also have the profile. This is where you can add usernames and password here or to if you want to edit the passwords then we have locations we have the location id we have the location name we have the status then you can still add more here by hitting on new here then you can be in a position to uh, capture the location book locations like the shelves 
or wherever like now you can be, you can you might have free board mathematics english dictionary such then in case you want to see the location information in a nut share or in at grams then uh, here you go then on the other hand if you want to see the leaders details right now uh, this guy here therefore when you double click you can see the details of this guy and uh, where he comes from whether he's a member workplace his company his occupation here you see now you can still do that uh, capture or edit these details accordingly therefore this is the readers uh, module of the system then in case you want to see the uh, table record data sheet of the readers uh, tagrams you can just hit on uh, uh, readers details then if you want to see borrowed books uh, that is the boring details you can be in a position to see it at a grams from that point also if you want to see the returned books you can still see from grams then also we have the surprise details you can still again look at it from that part here also imports you can be in a position to see the imports at uh, grams then on the other hand uh, we have the preview reports you can just hit on the report you can be in a position to see the report a uh, very well organized report and also print it like now this is the report of borrowed books it will actually appear here then uh, report for uh, returns you can also see it from there and also report for staff you can also be in a position to look at it there therefore this is a very powerful a uh, library system created using Microsoft Access and therefore after doing that I can just hit on logout then I will be taken to the login screen therefore I want us now to go through the tables and uh, other things therefore for that case you allow me to quit the application first then I will hold shift on my keyboard and then double click my application there we go therefore you've been in a position to see uh, the tables therefore we have a number of tables and in case you want to use these tables just right click go to design view once you go to design view you can be in a position to see how everything has been accomplished therefore this is the tb book table that way therefore if in case you want to see the return uh, table you just still uh, hit that one as i have done and you'll be in a position to see uh, this one in, the, in design view and therefore as you go down here you can also be in a position to see the the, the field properties and uh, uh, various other uh, features for the users for example if you look at this this is the users table where I have captured my users therefore you have the username user password user position and the ID uh, ID that is a staff ID Therefore, from this point, uh, you can see the format here. That is, the format has been captured here so that uh, at least it can appear as you can see here. Then, if I go back to password, you see now the input mask for password is password. So that um, when I click on this, you cannot really see the password. And uh, as I change the password here, you cannot be in a position actually to to see it is hidden therefore if for example we can just go to one of the tables that is very crucial right now uh, that is the I wanted the borrow this one the borrow uh, that is the borrow table or the borrowing table therefore these are the feeds then on the, on the other hand ladies and gentlemen you can just go to database tools then relationship therefore this is the relationship that uh, is controlling this powerful database you see now you must be very keen when it comes to relationships because relationship actually defines how your database looks like and if for instance if you double click here you can be in a position to see that uh, this is one to many relationship and also the enforce referential integrity cascade update related feeds cascade deleted related feeds therefore these ones must be ticked to make sure that uh, you have referential uh, integrity then on the other hand if you can just just uh, uh, scroll down here 
you will notice that we have various forms uh, we have various forms therefore in case you want to edit you just right click go to design view then you can be in a position to see everything uh, as it has been done therefore this is how the user authentication looks like you can just edit by going to design view on the other hand in case you want for example to look at um, uh, a profile that's like now this just right click and then you can be in a position to, to see this now in case you want to decode uh, when you are in design view just hit this button here view code this one therefore when you hit on that one you'll be in a position to see the codes therefore these are the VBA codes then I uh, can just cross that we scroll down we go to the reports therefore we just right click on the report go to design view then you can be in a position to see the functions used like now here we have equals to now this is will display today's date and time then this one is sum amount this one actually computes the sum of uh, this field here you can still tamper with this one by going to properties then uh, you can be in a position to see right here that uh, i can still type from control source then format it as currency so that uh, it produces the US dollar or Kenya shillings or whichever currency you are using uh, in, your, in your country. Then, if for example, you still go to another report like this one here, then go to the side view. This is the return report. You can be in a position to see exactly uh, how it looks like. The text boxes are aligned in the detail and the labels are aligned in the page header then any calculation is actually done in the report footer it is very crucial and important uh, to uh, note that and therefore after having done that ladies and gentlemen i have uploaded this database on my website the url is just below this video so that you can be in a position to download and also use it for running purposes Therefore, you can be in a position to see the codes, you can be in a position to see the structure, and also uh, look at how it can be modified uh, in case you want to uh, use it for running purposes. Remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Also, share my videos to your friends so that they can also uh, have a share on this knowledge in Microsoft Access. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. See you in my next session.